Hi everyone, Miss Shallow Crafty Servings with shadows on my face. <laughs> Let's adjust some lighting. <laughs> Let's adjust it again. There, I think we're better. How about doing something rustic tonight? You wanna come on and join me? So I went out and cut a bunch of branches tonight. Now this would only work with fresher branches. They can't be dried. All right, but they'll dry after you use them for a while. So I've got a bunch of branches and see a bunch. Of, I've got a bunch more down here too. I'm just going to see which ones. I wanted longer branches for this project. So when I haven't done it before, I'm hoping it's going to work. I think it'll be really cute if it works. <laughs> um, and we'll see how it goes. So I've got just some florist wire here. If you have string, if you don't have wire, this is something that you should be able to do with stuff you have at home, okay? Um, go cut some branches off while they're fresh and not really butted out. Um, we're actually getting rid of a couple pear trees, so that's why I was able to get some. And my husband trimmed the apple trees, so some of those branches were laying down. So these are fresh. They're sort of flexible. Um, I'm hoping they don't break while I do this. So these are my branches. Um, one of them and these are sort of fresh so I'm hoping I'm gonna get them all bent like this and then I'm gonna wire them together and we're gonna see what we can how we decorate it that's gonna be the challenge for me is because I haven't done this so look how flexible these are if these were um, and I had them in the house for several hours or quite a few hours so I think being outside cold they might not be as flexible either so let's take this we're going to I'm just going to try, I'm going to try and do these all together and then wire them, all right? And so I'm doing something rustic here. And I'm, so see how the big one on that side? I'm going to try doing, I'm going to go opposite. And if this one doesn't work, this is a really big one. Ha, huh, it worked. And I want to try my thought process now, see, there's there's a bunch of shoots coming up, but I think that's going to make it look really cool, too. So these are not grapevines, which a lot of people probably would do with a grapevine, but I don't have access to them. So I'm just going to grab, I've got a bunch of big ones down here. So I'm trying to do opposite the big on one side and then fold it around. And I'm gonna try and hold them all in one hand. Ha. All right, so let me just keep doing. We're gonna do quite a few of these and, and then I'm gonna see if I can not hurt myself by hitting myself in the head with the branches. And we're gonna wire them together. All right, there's another one. So I've got quite a few of these branches cut. Um, these branches were pear branches off of a tree that we're actually cutting down. And there's some apple branches from the branches that my husband trimmed off. So I'm gonna put another wide one on this side so I get wide on both sides. It's just my thought process. This one probably isn't quite long enough. I want them to all be sort of similar down here. And look at how that sticks up. That's okay, we're gonna let that right now. Although, it was sort of sticking away from, from this. I may end up having to tie them together. See how this is going? So I think we're gonna put a few more and then we're gonna try and decorate a little bit. Like I said, I'll do some. <laughs> Sorry, I keep going out of the way. I'm trying to lift up these branches. I can't have them all up here. This one probably isn't long enough. And you know the crazy thing when I was down picking up some of the apple branches that were already cut that my husband had cut? The rabbits, and they were only cut for a week. The rabbits had chewed so many of them that were laying on the ground. It's crazy. All right, I'm just trying to get a couple more long ones. So, all right, this one is sort of stiff, but we're gonna make it work. I think I'm almost done. Let's put, this one might work yet. I'm looking where I have most of the big ones. I'm gonna put another big one on this side. And let's, <laughs> I'm 
losing some stuff here. I think we're almost done because my hand isn't big enough to hold anymore. So if I wanted to add more, I could always do that after we start wiring them. So, okay, that's what we're starting with. I did not soak them, Yvonne. Um, these branches are fresh off the tree or just cut a week ago. Um, okay, so this is floral wire and I'm just gonna do a whole bunch of wrapping here and hope that they all stay in. Um, so no, they're pretty flexible. I had them in the house for several hours. So I'm gonna leave this one back here and I'm just gonna try and wrap. I'm gonna wrap some completely around one side. And we're not gonna see this wire when I'm done either. This one is gonna cause me problems because it keeps coming out and wants to slap me in the face. So we're gonna just wrap this one around this side. And I'm sure there's probably an easier way we could do this, but I haven't tried it yet. So this is the way we're doing it tonight. All right. And you know, this is sort of rustic, but, and branches are probably gonna be sort of rustic, but there's always ways to change it up some. I've got quite a few different decoration ideas that you put on here that I'm gonna show you that I don't know that I'm completely decorated while I'm on with you because there's so many different ideas that I do want to show you, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm just trying to get this around in as many type of branch areas as I can because when I let this go, I want it to stay together because I don't want to do this again in front of you. Um, Laura, yeah, it would probably be easier if I had six hands. <laughs> so this could be a good kid's craft. Well, at least let them help you gather the branches and let them hold it while you're trying to twist this all together. So, all right, let me, <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. We're twisting and twisting and twisting and then I'm gonna show you, um, part of it I'm gonna show you now but then I'll show you other ideas of, of decorating. There's so many cute ideas that we can decorate with this. Um, it's endless, the possibilities. All right. Yep, there's never enough hands. Okay. So I am just trying as much as I can to get this all twisted together behind here as many times as I can because it is going to stay. Um, this side I think is pretty good, but I'm a little nervous yet. Let's do this. So this is sort of like another puzzle. All right. We got it. All right, I got some things. I may end up cutting that one off. That's um, yeah, I'm gonna cut that one off. I don't like how that's sticking out there. So you just sort of trim it up while you're doing it. You see an egg forming. That could be too, right? I don't. We're gonna just sort of decorate this, and it's gonna be like a rustic wall hanging. Um, almost like a wreath type thing, but we could use eggs for decorating and I'll show you that. So, all right, so now we're getting our jute out. We're doing rustic, we're using jute, all right? And that's how we're gonna be covering the wire. So I am going to do a bunch of wraps here. You could do it with bow also, but I think I like the idea of a bunch of string wrapping around. Again, if we had more hands, this probably would be easier. And we're gonna have some branches sticking out. We may end up trimming. I'm just gonna keep wrapping around, okay? You see a bunny head? What else do we see? A bird's nest? Actually, I have a bird's nest sitting here that I'll show you that could be part of a decoration. Keep going, what else do we see here? All right, I'm gonna pull 
bunch more of this out. That would be a cute bunny, wouldn't it? Oh man, now you ladies have me thinking. Maybe I gotta rethink what I'm finishing, right? All right, so I'm just gonna, the easiest for me because of these tall strings is to just keep winding it. All right, this seems sort of like Indian to me, right? Or something like that, a pineapple, a pineapple, there's a couple pineapple, a fish, fish is correct, pineapple. Hey, we got so many ideas. See, everybody can do one of these and decorate it different and post it on the Crafty Servings Crafty Club page. All right, I'm gonna see where my, uh-oh. Oh, there, I thought I lost this, this side of it. All right, I think I'm almost done with the wrapping. We'll do a little bit more. And then we'll decorate a little bit and then I'll just show you so many ideas. This band better quit pretty soon. I'm almost out of jute. <laughs> Wait, jute, you could order jute. You could order jute online. Okay. So that's our cute right now. So let me show you a few ideas that I have. Um, you know, first of all, hi, Kim. I'm glad you caught me live too. So remember this? I made this on a live. Uh, quite a few of you made them too. I saw you do them. Look at, put some like this and put that on the wall. Would that not be the cutest hang burlap hanger on it? Right? And I got hearts and it's not even my clock. So this I think would be my favorite, favorite thing to do. What I would probably do first though, before I do that on, let me just show you. Now see, I cut, I cut, I'm gonna cut some of these off because I want to add a little bit more rustic. We're gonna cut some of these off. Thank you, Laura. That really, this, I'm, I'm thinking that probably is my settlement, but I'm gonna show you so many other ideas that we can put together with it that are just gonna be really, really cute. You can do it where it's not all rustic, although, albeit this is rustic. Um, I Every rustic thing I've done, I told you how you can change it up. This is pretty rustic. Um, I'm not sure how to change. Thank you everybody for passing it on. I appreciate that. All right, let's, and you know what? You can go outside and gather branches because you can step outside your house um, and you can go gather some branches, have the kids with you, gather some other things, gather some pine, well, pine cones, they might be a little wet. Um, if you do gather some things from the ground, you know, pine cones or things like that, and if it's sort of damp, you do want to probably bake them or something on a low temperature for a while just to kill the bugs. You don't, you don't want bugs in your house. Looks like a swing. Anna, it would be a good swing too. And I appreciate it. Where I separate the jute. I separate jute all the time, don't I? But it just add something so I'm just finishing this one yet and we're gonna put this on there like I said we want to cover that wire so in whatever way you decorate you're gonna be covering it that big flower honestly would do it but I think what I'd like to do is I am going to tie this off let's add a little one here I've got my thin dude here too. <laughs> Let's just see where I'm at. All right. So I got my, I've got all kinds here. Oh, Yvonne will be anxious to see it. All right, so I'm just gonna, I've got, it's probably, I would guess, a foot long. It's so easy. This lace was from Walmart. It was, it was a roll. It, it, it was like a ribbon roll. 
okay? Um, and it, it just was so cute and easy. All right, so I'm trying to see which I want as my front side. So that's my back side, obviously, because of that. So I'm going to have... this hanging down All right because I'm doing really rustic tonight thank you Anna and I didn't even hardly do anything here oh Amanda you gotta separate you look at all the twists look at the dimension that does and there's different kinds of jute man this shadow is driving me crazy here all right, there's different kinds of jute too, and some of them is, um, some of them are thicker and like a twisted jute, and when you separate that, it's so cool. All right, so if you do this with that, that okay, that is like it. That's that's the that I don't even know that I want to show you anything else. Um, we're gonna put a jute tie on here. I'll show you. I'll show you how easy it would be to do that, and then I am gonna show you though other things we can do. Um, but that's going to be my final, I, I think. All right, so to put the tie on, I am just going to probably hook it through, probably through a couple branches here. Honestly, I'm just going to do a regular tie. I hooked it through, let me show you. I just slid it through behind a couple branches. That's all I did. And I'm going to tie a knot up on the top. If you don't like the look on the knot on the top, then twist it around so that it's below that. That is the perfect rustic decoration, right? Okay, but let me show you some of the other ideas I have. Okay, I have quite a few ideas sitting here that I was just sort of tossed up. You could do a burlap bow. Okay, you could... Definitely do something like that. Put it on. Um, put this on. Oh, and this would be really cute too. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna cut this burlap bow because it's gonna be cute too. And I'll show you what you put on it. If you wanna stick with me. All right. So um, I'm actually gonna, this is a, a roll of the burlap. I'm gonna cut these edges off just because I like that it's going to unravel a little bit. And we'll actually use these edges in the bowl. So we don't have to waste them. Oh, I just cut, oh no, I just cut it. All right, we're gonna waste a little bit of it. All right. And I cut more of it. All right, it is what it is. Okay, so we're gonna use that on part of the bowl. I'm gonna get another piece of jute here. And to make this bowl, I'm just gathering it. If I had a button here, we'd be putting a button on here too. But I don't have a button and I have something even cuter though. Trust me, it's even cuter. So I like using those edges even, just to add a little something. And that's why I put them right back on there. But I like that these edges are gonna unravel a little. So all I did was gather it up through those other ones on top. Uh-oh, one of my sticks just came out. I hope that's not a sign that they're all gonna come out. It's the one that kept wanting to slap me. Thank you, Anna. So we're just gonna gather this bow up, tie it tight. All right. See, I have my hot glue gun here too, and I may end up doing something with that because I don't, I like this one. Um, now the end broke. I'm gonna end up wiring this one on even more. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll, let's see. For now, I'm gonna glue this in. Did you come out to say hi? Hi. <laughs> Did you hear him? 
All right, I'm gonna glue, just put a little glue inside of there because I'm hoping that one will stay in there. If not, we're gonna end up, I'm out of my glue too. All right, let's just try and get a little glue on that one in there. And I'm gonna just try twisting a little more wire because we're gonna keep that one in there. I like that one. <laughs> Did you see that? All right, so anyhow, I gotta work on this a little bit. Make sure it stays together, all right? But, so I got a couple more. So we, you do need to work on making sure. There, oh, there, okay. So, look at this bowl. Well, let's put it to this side. Still keep this. Put this bowl, all right, that would be really cute, but how about putting a couple little pine cones, right? Oh, that would be cute too. Okay, so that's another idea, but you know my favorite is still back to this, okay? Another idea, how about if you wanted a little bit brighter and not so rustic? It is rustic though something's stinging <laughs> all right how about putting on like a big flower like this so anything that you have at home all this other stuff is like really rustic but if you put something like this on you were dinging he says hi <laughs> that was a wave all right so put that on how about um besides that okay there's so many things you can do with this there's so many um if you want Eastery, look at, take a couple of these. I'm still gonna work with this, trust me, but I'm getting this out of my way. Look, put a couple of little Easter things in here or, or Easter eggs. I don't know that I'm that crazy about that because I like the rustic. Um, you could take, <laughs> I've got some. Now this is honestly not gonna work because I don't have little ones, but what if you take like a bird's nest and decorate with it, you know, maybe put a bird's nest and put a couple little eggs in it, or I have these tiny little birds. What if you, and if you don't drop the nest, what if you put a couple little tiny little birds in there? <laughs> Stay, put a couple tiny birds. That would be cute, right? So that's another idea. How will you hang it? I'll show you, I put a jute tie on it. I put the tie through a couple branches and it's gonna hang on the wall like that, okay? If you don't like the tie knot up there, you just turn it around. I just basically, let me show you up close, I just put it through a couple branches. I put a piece of jute, okay? So you could do eggs, but let me just show you. So a little more to add. Um, this is that wired moss I showed you the other day. You could string some of this through here. That would be really pretty hanging off. When it, oh my gosh. Okay, I keep getting cuter, cuter things, right? Put some of this wired moss and look at how that hangs down. That would be really, really cute. Yeah, the nest idea would be awesome. Look at, even with this, with that, that nest in here, okay? That would be cute. I love this. I don't even know how I'm gonna decorate this now because I'm liking all these ideas. Um, okay, now go out and you could gather some other branches, if like pine branches if you want, but those will dry and then it'll get nasty. But these are things like this was from Hobby Lobby. I that I haven't been in Hobby Lobby, um, but it is um, it's what I have here. I'm going through. So this one actually was a separate one. What about using, now this is sort of rustic looking to me. How about using some of these? Um, maybe put them in and let them let that hang down. I still would keep this jute in here. You'll have to make more than one. I'm gonna have to and hang them all over. I'll have a gallery wall with just this and I don't even have a gallery wall. I like that wired moss too. I love that look. So, um, but yeah, just something like that. Again, you could do this down on the bottom, you know, several of these branches, get that nest back in there. That would be really cute. Um, couple more ideas. All right, 
so I thought I had I had some bark but I don't see where it went so uh, you could lay bark down in there or something and put a nest in um, there's these branches I use these a lot for Christmas I use some of these for my carrots um, put something like that like something like that in here or down on the bottom that would be really cool if you do something like this if you want a little brighter now I showed you like with this flower you could do something with that flower with maybe um, oh boy maybe some of these branches or something coming up behind it that would be pretty right I still know what to put on here there's so many ideas how about these cute peonies? These are peonies, I think, from Walmart. They're so then they're probably three dollars. Most of their stuff is three dollars. Um, you could combine some things together. If we take that off, how about some putting these little peonies on here? So there are just again so many. This could be one of my favorite with the pine cones, or that that flower again. Go back and check out that video where I made that. Um, if you didn't already, that would be an awesome decoration. But yeah, I think ladies, this could be this. I, I'm going to be playing with this. I'm not doing it tonight because I'm going to have you all on forever if I do. Um, but yeah, I'm loving that too. So I'm going to be playing with this and I'll make sure that I post a picture with the final. Try stopping to think of ideas is the hardest part. Yeah, Amanda. There are so many ideas, you know, and if you gather so much of, like I said, if you gather like these pine cones outside, um, it's just the jute, the branches are from outside. You add some of this or you add your bows, everything, you know, you could do a lot with outside stuff. I don't know. I'm sure you could probably find a nest, but I don't know that I'd use the outside nest in here, but, um, there's, it's unlimited. I can't wait to decorate this for all of you. And then I'll post a picture. I, I may post a couple pictures because I may have a couple of them by the time I'm done with it. Because there's so many cute ideas. Those are ranunculus, not peonies. Are you sure? Oh, you're right. <laughs> they look like a, pe uh, like a little baby peony to me, don't they? Thanks for coming on and just having a little happy and relaxed time. 